As far as temperatures are concerned this morning, look no further than the prairies for yet again more bitterly cold wind chill values, but each and every day getting less and less frigid. Still extremely cold, Winnipeg and Regina starting the day off at minus 17. What's interesting about southern Ontario through southern Quebec, our temperatures are right in around that freezing mark. And so whether you see some passing flurries, maybe some freezing drizzle like we have been seeing in eastern Ontario and southern Quebec, it's still going to be a fairly messy morning and then conditions start to clear throughout the afternoon. You know, chaos on the roads. It is true. We're not going to lie. It is true that uh, a centimeter of snow makes or breaks a commute home for many people in southern Ontario. Yesterday evening, just in time for the commute home, the snow came down and it doubled or even tripled people's commute time. So it can be a bit of a nuisance. Snow squall watches and warnings continue for Lake Superior, Georgian Bay, Lake Huron, and specifically through this morning and this afternoon. That's when you'll see the bulk of the snow. The winds do ease as we head through the night tonight, and so the lake effect snow engines will turn off. But you can see on the radar here. The darker the blue, the heavier the snow. For Lake Superior, there's snow on the way for Sault Ste. Marie. There's a band of heavy snow now pushing toward Barrie. And we're going to be checking in with Kasha coming up throughout uh, the program. But basically, Barrie could see upwards of 5 centimeters of snow, 2 to 5 centimeters right through cottage country, upwards of 15 centimeters, though, if you are under a snow squall watch or warning. So, Kasha, I mean, it, it doesn't look like 15 centimeters of snow coming down, but it's a beautiful kind of snow no. flurry this morning. <laughs> Kasha, that's such a great point because at this time of year when you get temperatures a degree or above or below the freezing mark, it can completely change everything. So whether you see snow or rain or freezing rain or a mixture of all three, it becomes a really messy forecast. That happened last night. It's continuing this morning. You can see Hamilton in a rain snow, snow mix, St. Catharines in a rain snow mix, London and Toronto into the snow. And these are just scattered flurries for most of us. The heavier snow will be further to the north. And speaking of the north, again, some steadier snows later this morning in Sault Ste. Marie coming off of the water. And wind chill values in the northwest, we're talking about, you know, minus 25 to minus 30. It's already above the freezing mark today in Halifax. Green on the radar is rain. Rain is on the way for Halifax. It's already raining this morning in Yarmouth, but blue is snow. In around New Brunswick, that snow will transition to freezing rain and then eventually rain because, Nate, temperatures are going to continue to warm through the day today. So tell me, what are your plans in the warm winter air? <laughs> but still feeling a bit chilly, and you want to bring along an umbrella. There's a good weather song for you, some Rihanna. Bring your umbrella. Ella, Ella, thank you very much, Mr. Coleman. I can't believe I just did that. Okay, so we're talking a lot about music. Stick around, we're gonna talk about that in our next segment and how we want you to join in on the show this morning. We're still experiencing extremely cold temperatures across the prairies, especially through you know the first half of the day, and this will be a similar pattern over the next few mornings. But essentially through this afternoon, all of that snow we're seeing in New Brunswick for the Maritimes, you know, we see that transition over into rain, and your temperatures are such a roller coaster ride, a mild day, a cold day, and you might just want to get away and head to the Bahamas where you know it's going to be warm. Look at Nassau for Thursday. Yes, it will be mostly cloudy, but daytime highs are going to be you know in the low 30s. Enjoy. Um, a half a degree away from its coldest air yet this season. So it was a remarkably cold day, considering the kind of weather that we've had over the last few weeks. Now, one of the bigger stories today, snow squalls, lake effect snow. And this has been going on for weeks and weeks, very typical for this time of year. But snow squall watches and warnings continue for the eastern shores of Superior, Georgian Bay, and Lake Huron. And the potential is there to see these snow squalls this morning and this afternoon. But the winds will diminish through the night tonight, and the lake effect snow will come to an end. But you can see the deeper the blue on the radar, the heavier the snow and there's a decent band just north of Sault Ste. Marie if you're doing any highway driving watch for reduced visibility and we have that band of snow pushing through Barrie as we speak and you know Toronto we're not ruling out that some flurries over the next couple of hours will reach you as well so heads up on your commute although Kasha when you were driving from Oakville from our station to Barrie did you notice mm -hmm. the change in conditions on the roads a little on the slick side, give yourself some extra time. That's our main <laughs> our main point for today. Yes, it is. Thank you very much, Kasha, for that. And we'll hear from Kasha coming up throughout this morning. Uh, now, Barry has the potential today to see about two to five centimeters of snow. And, and Kasha, it's looking beautiful behind you, but it was more so earlier this morning when the snow was coming mm -hmm. down. Oh, yeah, and there were big, beautiful, juicy flakes, Natalie, and they kind of ramped down right now, but that's okay. I'm okay with that personally. Kasha, I hope I don't embarrass you and yell at me later if you want, but... I don't know if, um, well, maybe next segment, don't go anywhere. This is a great hook. I'm going to make her do her Polish mama voice. Have you heard her Polish accent before? You are in luck. So stay with us. In about five minutes, Kasia will be back, and I'm going to make her do, <laughs> do the accent. Uh, and Kasia, don't let me down, girl, because I promoted to everyone <laughs> earlier that you were going to do something in a Polish accent. So give us the weather. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, okay. Well, Natalie, earlier I set this up by saying that what I learned from my Polish mama is to layer up. And yes, I do impressions of my mom. She doesn't mind, by the way, but please don't let this offend anybody. What my mother says is you wear sweater under sweater. You wear pants under your pants when it's this cold. And yesterday she referred to the weather as disgusting, way too cold. So today is so much better. And I did layer up nonetheless. The flurries, they were flying earlier. They could be still ramping up though. We're not completely out of the woods when it comes to the lake effect up here. Natalie, Cash is that America, okay? I love you. Thank you. You've made my morning and perhaps anyone at home as well. Thanks to Kasha for playing along through the day today. But Kasha, the important thing is temperatures not nearly as cold as yesterday. No, not at all. I mean, I wasn't lucky enough to be out there yesterday morning, but I did hear about Mike Arsenault doing the dorky dad dance. He was really cold. Hi. Natalie, last time you made me uh, do an impression of my mom and I got a phone call. I got scolded for it. And she says hi, by the way. Back to you inside. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'll send your mom a little note. Thank you very much, Kasha. Uh, but if you missed it, it was very, very funny and we love you. Mwah. Okay, so this afternoon. So for Kasha, I mean, you were right in that snow band in Barrie earlier this morning. How did that feel? Yeah. Ah, it wasn't too bad, Natalie. It wasn't too intense. They were beautiful, light, juicy flakes, but they did certainly ramp down. Kasha, quick question before you go. Did I really get you in trouble with your mom? Am I in trouble? No. <laughs> no, you're not, actually. Okay. She thought it was hilarious. Okay, she good. called immediately. Okay, good. Thank you very much, no. Kasha. She's been a good sport all morning long. We've been having a great time with it. Yeah, this is definitely well, we all remember this scene. Storm hunter Mark Robinson, before. chief meteorologist Chris done. Scott in Nova Scotia last March. A very strong nor'easter, oh, strong enough winds to blow them over. Uh, meteorologist Dana Batiste joins us. And Dana, not all nor'easters are as strong as that, but sometimes I feel like when we throw out the term nor'easter, people are like, oh, what do you mean by that? Yeah, so <laughs> nor'easter is a term given to a storm that forms near a uh, coast of Florida, mm -hmm. the east coast of the United States, and it generally travels northeast along the coast and impacts Atlantic Canada. And the reason why it's given the name nor'easter is because the winds come from the northeast when it blows inland. Okay, and by the way, this is all on Dana's article. Is it called the, the Know-It-All Guide to yeah. Winter Weather Terms? Winter Weather Terms, so yeah, everything is. you need to know. Okay. <laughs> on our website, theweathernetwork.com. So nor'easter, and just to clarify on that, nor'easters are fairly typical for Atlantic Canada. Yes, we see them oftentimes mm -hmm. in the winter because we get a b very big temperature contrast mm -hmm. between the ocean, relatively warmer, yes. as well as a cold continent, and that helps to fuel these stronger storms. And we can also get blizzard conditions within nor'easters, mm -hmm. so we've got storms intermingling with other storms. I'm glad you br brought up blizzard, because even sometimes for me, I'm like, oh, it was like a blizzard out there. There's a specific definition for blizzard. Yeah, there's a specific criteria that Environment Canada follows mm -hmm. before they issue a blizzard warning, and that follows is this. We call it the 444 rule here, just to help us remember it. So basically, you need sustained winds of at least 40 kilometers per hour mm -hmm. or greater, visibility Visibility because of snow blowing or falling, uh, visibility less than 400 meters, and that has to last at least four hours unless you're above the tree line in Canada, okay. and it's six hours. Okay, interesting. Because I guess they're hardier. <laughs> a little bit hardier a than we bit. are in the south. And that's an interesting point about the four hours because sometimes you run into a lake effect snow band yes. and it feels like a blizzard, but it doesn't last that long. You can get very intense blizzard conditions, but it's not actually a blizzard because it's very intense for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. And we mentioned lake effect snow. Hey, let's talk about the lake effect snow in Buffalo. Not snow, we've been seeing it going on in southern Ontario and today the potential again. So Dana, thanks for the refresher. More details on our website.